Hi, this is Todd with Esoteric Car Care. Today we're going to be discussing customer expectations versus game planning uh, with our 488 Ferrari here. Okay, this is the third video in the series kind of introducing uh, who we are, what we represent, uh, the Ferrari world, and then bringing it into this particular 488 uh, Ferrari that we have uh, behind us here. Um, in this one, we're going to be discussing our game plan. We're going to be discussing customer expectations and how we blend those things together to come up with the best package we possibly can. But as long as your services match the expectations of the customer, nothing can go wrong. The problem comes in if those expectations or levels don't meet, somebody's gonna be a little bit upset uh, in that process. You have to take the time to fully assess the vehicle, discuss the findings with the customer, come up with a plan that's best for the customer's wants and needs, what's best for uh, the car. That's why if somebody is getting something other than just a basic wash and wax, you really need to consult with them fully first to determine uh, what is needed. With this one, customer that I've had uh, for years, worked on uh, uh, some other cars uh, in the past for him, but he picked this up slightly used. He trusts us with our expertise of the car to tell him what we find, what we can do to, uh, to make it better. So with this one, we discussed in our previous video some of the things that we found. We found the factory defects in here, the standing marks, the holograms for improper uh, buffing. We found some issues with the paint protection film. We found some issues with the vinyl wrap on the roof. We found issues on the car. It's got some uh, tar on it. Looks like it's had uh, some track time. It's got your basic uh, swirls, wiping it down, just kind of improper care. So what we do is we get with a customer then, call them up, say, hey, this is what we found. We document stuff uh, with photography. We come up with a list. Wheels. You got a couple nicks in this one. You got some nicks in the OEM wheels. What the customer wants. We'll leave this one later on. It can be sent back to HRE. The OEM wheels, we're going to have them refinish in a completely different color for them. We've got some issues with the paint protection film. It's got wax buildup. It's not the, the clearest of film. Customer. All right. Let's remove it replace it uh, with a, a better quality film and a little bit better job. So we go through that complete checklist and we make sure that the customer knows everything that we found on here. We take a lot of time to inspect it, we document everything, then we sit down with a customer, find out what's most important. Some cases, customer may say, hey, fix everything that's on here and then uh, let's move on. Some of them may look at it and say, well, this one's not as important. We'll go ahead and leave this for a later time. So going through that complete list, figuring out what works best for you as the detailer and what works out best for the customer. Ultimately, that's what we're looking to do. We want to educate the customer on what we found. We want to bring everything to their attention that we found on it. And then we present a game plan or we represent options. We believe in good, better, best system uh, here at Esoteric. So in some cases we can say, you know, we can go this level of paint correction and it's gonna cost this much. We can go this level of paint correction. It's gonna cost this much, you know, which is more important to you. If it's somebody that's gonna be tracking the car, maybe they don't want to go as high of a uh, level of paint correction. Uh, so we go through that uh, on everything we do. We provide options, we provide solutions uh, for the customer making sure everything is right. This customer here, after we talk to him, he wants to make this the best looking example that, that he can have. When he gets it back, other than the little chip in the wheel, but all the rest of it, we're gonna polish it out. We're gonna remove the paint protection film. We're gonna remove uh, the vinyl wrap. We're going to replace the vinyl wrap, put paint protection film over top of it so it offers that really nice contrast with the black roof and the bright red uh, finish. Uh, but it's going to keep it looking good for uh, longer periods of time. But by going through all those steps, we ensure that we're going to give or provide a service to that customer. It's exactly what he's looking for. Those expectations and the, the, the game planning, they meet up precisely so that when he gets it back, he knows it's going to be the car that 
he has really wanted. So if you're a customer out there, you're kind of taking a look at uh, having something like this done. You kind of know uh, what levels it should go through and what kind of services or what kind of questions you should ask your detailer. Uh, if you're a detailer, make sure that you spend the time necessary to fully go through the car, document everything, and then sit down with the customer to game plan which every one of those items uh, you wanna have fixed and to what level you wanna have fixed. So having said that, we've gone through this kind of introductory series of uh, three videos. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna talk about specifics of the work that we're doing. We're gonna break down a handful of articles that's gonna go into everything from the paint correction aspect to the coating aspect to the film aspect and the roof, uh, how we produced heavier contrasts uh, in uh, the vehicle, how we go about presenting this and making it the best example that you're gonna find. So we appreciate you sticking uh, with us through these uh, first three videos. Uh, we appreciate you stick around uh, for the rest of them because we're gonna go through a lot of great information, whether you're a uh, consumer, whether you're a detailer, do-it-yourself uh, type person, uh, everybody uh, in between. So stick around, we'll see some more uh, videos. We'll have a little bit of fun with this 488, uh, teach you a little bit more about what goes into making a Ferrari the best looking example that you're gonna find. That's about all for today for Esoteric Car Care. I'm Todd Cooperider, thanks. We'll see you again next time.